So first, I just want to take a moment to, to recognize one member of the Lightstorm team, John Landau, who passed away last month. As the producer of both Avatar films, John was instrumental in helping Disney Imagineers bring Pandora to life. John helped us create our Avatar theme land at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I actually had the chance to work closely with him as we developed that land, and I was so fortunate to experience his passion and creativity firsthand. John loved the Disney parks. He loved working with Imagineers and cast members, and he was so excited be working with Imagineers on our next Avatar experience. And that experience, I'm so pleased to announce to all of you today, it's coming to Disney California next year. Just, just as Avatar and Way of Water introduced us to places on Pandora that we had never seen before, this new experience will invite us to explore even further. Now to talk more about it, I want to welcome from Walt Disney Imagineering, Allie Rubenstein. Allie, come on. taking our guests to a whole new location on Pandora. As all of you know, our land in Florida is set in a rainforest amongst the floating mountains in the Morara Valley, which to me feels just like we're stepping into the first Avatar film. For our new destination, we're inspired by the second movie, The Way of Water, as well as the upcoming Fire and Ash, and future Avatar films. Yeah. And it will be a scale and a level that is worthy of these epic stories. One thing I'm particularly looking forward to is an in innovative new attraction that will bring all the action, all the excitement, and all the wonder of Avatar to life in a completely new and thrilling way. We'll invite our guests to take the adventure of a lifetime as we join an excursion in search of majestic natural wonders that can only be found on Pandora. It's quite an image back here. And Ali, I, I love that we're seeking out new places in this world to explore. Absolutely. Along the way, we'll discover dense forests full of incredible animals and bioluminescent flora, taking us all the way to the wide open seas of Pandora. But while this world can be beautiful, if we lose our way, it can also be dangerous. Right? This is going to be a dynamic, intense, and emotional experience on a grand scale that we know our guests, all of you, are going to love. They are going to love. But yes. Allie, for you, what is it that you love about Avatar? Well, Josh, everybody looks better in blue. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Allie, well, listen, I love the planning sessions that we've had so far. The creative looks so phenomenal. And the experiences that you have in store for our fans are like nothing that they've seen or that they've felt before. Ellie, thank you so much. Thank you for being here. Expansive scenes. Of 
Of course, we're bringing our skeleton cast of characters to life in a big way through the latest in audio animatronic technology. Now, work is underway and we'll be breaking ground in 2026 as we create this celebration of everything that we all love about Coco. Next month on September 20, the new nighttime spectacular, Reach for the Stars, debuts at Tokyo Disneyland. This show will feature characters from Big Hero 6, Up, and for the first time in Tokyo, superheroes from Marvel. And in January, Disneyland Paris will unveil a new nighttime spectacular featuring a multitude of timeless songs from Disney and Pixar. This humorous and movie journey will be told through projections on Sleeping Beauty Castle and for the first time, down Main Street. Yeah! And then, in summer of 2025 at the Magic Kingdom in Florida, something new is on its way. We are getting a new nighttime parade! Yeah. Yeah. Disney's legacy of innovation in nighttime entertainment goes back more than 50 years to the Main Street Electrical Parade. Now this new show, Disney Starlight, will add to that legacy. It will use the latest technology to tell new stories with characters you love. It's a star-kissed constellation of Disney dreams brought to life by the magic of the Blue Fairy. It features moments from Peter Pan, Encanto, Frozen, and more. I cannot wait for this one. Me too, me too. The new nighttime spectacular coming to Disneyland Paris it will be the latest example of how we continue bringing stories to life at this incredible destination. We've reimagined both the Disneyland Hotel and the Art of Marvel Hotel and the results of it were spectacular. Now we're transforming our second park in Paris, which began with the introduction of Avengers Campus. We'll tell the next chapter in that transformation story with the world of Frozen. This is where you'll travel to Arendelle and spend time with Anna, Elsa, Olaf, and all of their friends. I'm great. We've got some great news to share with all of you today. Our new Frozen Land will open in 2026. Now, as you know, along with this debut comes the park's new name, Disney Adventure World. And we'll celebrate this new name with a nighttime spectacular that only Disney could create. And I'm excited to tell you that we have a brand new show that will debut in 2026 on the park's new lake, Adventure Bay. This will be a 360 degree experience featuring fountains, music, water screens, lasers, illuminated drones, and of course, we'll have original music. Adventure Bay will be the gateway to all the different worlds in the park. And that includes a story that I know that we've all loved for the past 30 years. So as our friend Rafiki would say, it is Simba from Cub to Kick. It'll feel like you stepped right into that movie. Sit on this 11 acre section of the park and set to begin this fall as we transform Dinoland USA into the tropical Americas. This work, this work's going to begin in phases, making sure that you still have a chance to experience Dinosaur one more time. Indiana Jones will be one of two signature attractions in the new land. To tell us more about what we're planning, 
please welcome the President and Chief Creative Officer of Walt Disney Imagineering, Mr. Bruce Vaughn. Much like Harambe in our Africa land, this town feels lived in with a long, rich history. You'll find it in the heart of a lush rainforest, and the buildings there are in a classic Spanish style. There's even a large fountain in the center of town where people like to gather and tell stories. You'll also find a big hacienda, and in there, we're going to reflect the food and culture of the region. And I cannot wait to try some of that. <laughs> but wait, there's more. In a horse stable, one Esperanza resident, a woodcarver, has created a carousel featuring his favorite animals from Disney stories. I'm telling you, these pieces are absolutely gorgeous. And if you stop by our imaginary pavilion tomorrow in one of our reveal rooms at the convention center, we have the first one we made on display. So go see that. I personally love carousels. And this one is such a very special take on this amazing attraction. Our, not only will our families love it, but everybody's going to want to ride this. It's absolutely gorgeous. You're going to have to go back at night. It's got special lighting as well. Now, there's more. <laughs> Over on the other side of the town, there's a famous house. You may know it. Tonight, I'm happy to announce Bruce's team is bringing to life our first major attraction based on Encanto. <laughs> so, Bruce, what can you tell us here? What can you tell us about the story with the Montreal? Yeah, well, actually, this is really cool. Uh, so, when you walk up to Casita, a whole house will feel alive just like in the show. Another reveal for tomorrow. Head over, head over to our pavilion at the, uh, at, the, uh, at the center because we're going to have the, <laughs> the convention center. That's where it is. <laughs> it's there all day. No, it's great. Uh, but we have actually a beautiful model of Casita and the entire land on display. So you got to check that out. <laughs> all right. Now let me tell you about what's going on inside the city. We're arriving on the day Antonio receives his magical gift, which I'm sure you all remember, allows him to communicate with animals. And we're going beyond the movie story with our attraction. Casita has magically brought furniture to life for us to journey through the various rooms of the house, ultimately ending up in Antonio's room, which has been transformed into a rainforest. There, we'll hang out with Antonio and all of his animal friends. And of course, along the way, we'll bump into, you know, Mirabella and some of the other members of the family, like, you know, perhaps one famous uncle. We don't talk about you! No, 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 no! Right. Uh, we, we get we get to mess it up now. Uh, so, this is going to be a classic Disney attraction of a type of storytelling that Imagineers have been creating for, for 70 years. Yeah. Right? And, and they finish all their research trips, they finish all their designs and all the prep work. Now it's time to start 
building, which is why I'm pleased to announce that this, this attraction will debut along with Indiana Jones the entire land in 2027. I know your team's going to deliver something great. <laughs> no pressure, right? <laughs> there are just so many announcements and so little time. I've got to be honest, I have no idea how we're going to get through all of this. I have no idea. Uh, we, can we, can help. Help. we can help with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We can help with that. We got you. We got this. Yeah. Churros back there for you, you guys. They're, they're, they're oh, we, we finished. We had all our churros. They're gone. All, all of them. The churros are no longer. They <laughs> cease to be. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. We work for Dollwoods now. Oh, it's Dollwoods. <laughs> I can do that. I think I can figure that one out. All right, guys. Look, uh, I've got back here this list. Okay. All right, and just look at this. Look, okay. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. surprised. Okay. Right. I don't know. So somehow I gotta get through. Okay, okay listen, we, 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 we got guys, Josh, you had a long night to sit down, take oh, yeah. a break, relax. Give it up for Josh a little bit. Come on! Oh, man. Look at this. A pirate lounge at the Magic Kingdom. 
some news, Josh, that's actually bigger than some shaggy blue monster that I'm a good friend of. Would you like to hear it? recognize me and sort of upset me for a while. And 
But I'm walking next to this woman who's pushing her four-year-old son in a stroller and they're covered from head to toe in Mike Wazowski t-shirts, hats, sunglasses, uh, everything. Mike Wazowski. So my question is, do I have a piece of that? <laughs> and, uh, I don't think you do that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I had to do it. I, I jumped in front of them and I said, Hey, I'm Mike Wazowski. And she said, That's pretty good, but he does it better. <laughs> you know, Mike is very near and dear to me, folks. When they first showed me the character, it was just this one big eye with those little legs and hands. And I said, Oh my God, it's CBS walking. <laughs> But you know, it's fair to say that Mike may be my favorite character and it's great to be part of the Disney family. Whenever I'm lonely and I'm feeling blue, I don't sit and wallow. I know just what to do. I come to this kingdom, cause Disney parks, this is true. We wouldn't have nothing if we didn't have you. We're all here together. That's how it always should be. From Mickey Mouse to Star Wars, all here at D23. We wouldn't have nothing if we didn't have We wouldn't have nothing if we didn't have We wouldn't have nothing if we didn't have you One more time! Thank 
you're supposed to be here on stage. <laughs> well, see, now that's why I'm calling you here on this video communicator applicator thing in the Yeah, but your your connection is it's not so great, man. Hold on. It's better. <laughs> oh, not really. Now you're muted. You're muted. There you go. Uh, so what's going on, buddy? Where, where are you? Hey, you'll believe it. It's us on my way to this here car rising show, and dead gum it, the craziest thing did just happen. Oh, boy. What happened? My plum broke down. <laughs> I'm a tow truck on the side of the road waiting for a tow truck. I tell you, I need a kick in the oil pan. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, buddy. Really sorry to hear that. Should we do the reveal anyway? There's a hornet like the McQueen. Need a dab of oppo on turn seven on a sunny Sunday. I have no idea what that means, but yes, yes. <laughs> Your dad right, he does. <laughs> Let's get her done. All right, here goes. As we develop the next generation of Disney experiences, we're always looking for new ways to tell the stories that we all love. Which brings me to Frontierland of the Magic Kingdom. The America, the American West has always been about keeping your eyes on the horizon, believing in yourself and carving your own path and striving towards success. That goes for miners in the mountains, bears in the country, maybe a princess from the bayou, or a race car from the big city. That's why I'm happy to announce we're inviting Mater like the McQueen to a reimagined section of Frontierland. We're leaving Radiator Springs behind and we're heading off into the wilderness with two new Cars attractions. The first attraction is a thrilling race rally across the frontier. Here you get to climb the mountain trails or dodge geysers, splash through mud holes as you take on the terrain. So you better bring your off-road tires for this one. And since we know how much young children love the whole Cars crew, our second attraction is geared especially for our smallest racers, something that the whole family can enjoy. The Imagineers have been planning for this for a while, and construction on this new Cars area, it'll begin early next year. And this is going to bring some new energy to Frontierland as we continue to grow and evolve the story of what it means to explore the American wilderness. All right. How's that sound, Mater? Did I get it generally right? Shoot! Sounds great to me! Okay. Uh, well, thanks again for being here. I hope you get a toe soon. We welcome our first guest to our new island destination, Disney Lookout Key at the Lighthouse Point. We got a look at, Dis at the Disney Adventure as we prepare our first ship out of Singapore next year. And we are launching our newest ship, the Disney Treasure, in December. Now, some of you have heard about this. The Treasure will feature a brand new stage production, Disney, The Tale of Moana. This is a first look at one of the show's big moments when Moana makes her final stand against Taka. We're bringing Taka to life as a 15-foot tall puppet, the largest that we've ever produced for a Disney Cruise Line show. Well, I've had a chance to see this puppet in action, and it's stunning. Lavish, lavish stage shows, they're one of the signature elements of a Disney Cruise Line experience. And last week, we revealed a lot of great new details about the Disney destiny. But we saved something just for you. Would you like to hear about the show that we're working on? Some of you may have already guessed it, I don't know. When this new ship launches in 2026, its sig signature production will be Disney Hercules. And so all of you know that the fleet of our Disney cruise ships is growing. There are five at sea right now, and there are four more in the works, including the recent announcement of the Disney cruise ship sailing out of Japan. Yeah, well, now I have the biggest news yet, and I promise you're going to love it. Actually, you know what? I'll do better than promise. Yep. We're adding four more cruise ships to our fleet. <laughs> Thank you for helping me out there, guys. You look great in your suits. All for one, everybody. Now, we're planning to deliver these new ships between 2020 
2027 and 2031, which means that once these fantastic new ships are built, we're going to have 13 ways to experience Disney's world-class entertainment, our renowned dining and impeccable guest service in more parts of the world. Be careful there, Pete. Uh, you all shared some great news last night, so thanks for coming back on, on night two to D23. Uh, we've been talking about the possibilities for this collaboration with Epic Games. Uh, hundreds of millions of our fans have already played with our characters inside of Fortnite. Now we have a great opportunity for new ways to tell stories. Jen, I'm going I'm to start with you. How do you see our classic animated characters evolving in this new universe that we're talking about? Josh, I can tell you that everyone at Disney Animation is so excited about the potential that we see in the collaboration with Epic. And I am especially excited because my daughter lets me watch her play Fortnite, like, for hours. Is she one of the <laughs> million people watching now, maybe? She may just be, right now, on Disney Horizons Island, so... <laughs> Hi, Agatha. It's your mom. <laughs> But seriously, we can't wait to create new ways for the audience to enjoy their favorite Disney characters and worlds. And now I know that this Disney universe is still in development, but we didn't want to wait to share something with the Fortnite fans. Which is why I'm so excited that we are bringing Disney animation characters to the game for the first time this fall. So getting to play in this new Epic Games universe it feels kind of like a natural fit. Oh yeah, I mean, from Toy Story on, we've always looked at technology as a great partner with the storytelling that we're trying to do. Pushing boundaries of technology so we can tell new stories is really what we do. And I feel like, in a way, this is a little, uh, reminds me of our short films, which we use to, use to test new technology and play with characters, and I really could see this as an extension of that process. Uh, we're excited about playing with new original ideas in formats of Epic, so the possibilities are endless. And, you know, Jen, I didn't want to have, you'd let you and, and your daughter and, and <laughs> Walt Disney uh, Animation have all the fun. So I am also thrilled to announce the first Pixar characters are coming to Fortnite this fall. And, uh, they are incredible. Yeah, we've, we've been in Fortnite a little bit here, blowing things up, blasting things. The 
best thing about this announcement is you're going to get this stuff next week. I must warn you, it will draw you. Lucas always believed in the kind of integration that we blast the Death Star and our lives playing in old vector games as technology has improved, the graphics has improved, and a lot of times when we're creating the movies, getting in that galaxy far, far away. But now, you know, through the integration, we even use gaming technology like Epic's Unreal Engine yeah. in shows like The Mandalorian in our environment. So we're always constantly looking for new ways to really take you, the fans, to our galaxy. And we're working on it. We're really excited about this collaboration with Epic and what it can mean for our galaxy and our storytelling. So uh, we're going to get you there I'm, I'm as you. as we can. Completely agree with you, David. You know, since you're here, why don't we tell everybody about the other thing that we've been working on? Yeah, this I'm really excited about. If you're ever in the park, sometimes you might see me and a friend of mine named John Favreau. We love the parks. Yeah, John is the best. Uh, we love riding the rides and, and just going around Star Tours, all different things. Uh, we did a little research last Thursday in the park. We yeah. rode a particular ride a couple times because currently we're shooting a new movie called The Mandalorian and Grogu. Uh, be out in 2026. And uh, being huge fans, uh, we were really thrilled when Josh, you guys asked us to take a look at one of the rides and we're going to share something really cool. Uh, we are working with the Disney Imagineers to do a new Mandalorian and Grogu story for the Millennium Falcon ride. And of course, we're going to use the Unreal Engine to create it, so this whole thing comes in this full circle. All right, thank you, D23, and may the force be with you. <laughs> Kevin, coming over to you. Marvel's been already huge in, in Fortnite, yeah. and the response that we're seeing, just, just fantastic. It's been amazing. You know, so going back to 2018, the relationship we've had with Epic is great. 2018 is when Thanos first stormed across the island in our Infinity Gauntlet event that was time for our Infinity War movie. Uh, a few years after that, Galactus came and destroyed the whole island. And some of you, or the million, did you say million, John? A million plus, plus I uh, may have seen that clip. That clip of Galactus destroying the island of Fortnite is so cool. I shared it with the team currently making a Fantastic Four movie to get that spirit of Galactus across. It's incredible what they're able to do. And what else I love in my 11 year old son who plays Fortnite every day, a lot of people learn about our characters for the first time, Thanos, Galactus, through Fortnite. So we get a chance that everybody can learn about our heroes and our villains for the first time. And that inspires them to then go look at our comics, Go on Disney Plus, go to our movies. So this new collaboration is really remarkable. Games have become an extension of our storytelling, and I can't wait for everybody to see what we have in store in the future with this amazing collaboration. But that's the future. In the here and now, we have something I'm very excited to announce. Tonight, the next season of Marvel at, on Fortnite, next week, August 16th. <laughs> and this, let's go. And like Thanos and Galactus before him, there's a very iconic villain coming. It is a character you may have heard us speak about over the last couple of weeks. Coming to Fortnite is Doctor Doom. Everybody, we have so many more new stories to tell. So <clears throat> new stories, you say? 
Hey, bargain bin John Williams. He's <laughs>
be a high energy thrill coaster with all the excitement of a Marvel story. Now I don't want to give away the story, but it seems that Peter Parker has gotten himself, well, and us, in a bit of a tight spot. And weirdly, it seems that wherever Peter goes, Spidey's not so far away. Coincidence? Yeah, well, we'll find out. So we're going to have to follow Spidey at very high speeds to get us out of trouble. It's going to be a real thrill ride. Right. Well, no, Are we going to move to Hong Kong this evening? Okay. Uh, we, we have a strong Marvel presence there already, and it's about to get even stronger, I understand, right? You're absolutely right. You know, back in 2017, Hong Kong welcomed the Stark Expo to Tomorrowland with the Iron Man experience. And then two years later, we debuted Ant-Man and the Wasp, Nano Battle, to round out the, uh, the expo there. And now I'm excited to share that we're working to open up the next edition to the expo. So it's, yeah. So it seems, Hong Kong fans, all right. All right, awesome. Tony Stark and the Avengers have invited some of the most brilliant scientists from across the Marvel Universe to collaborate on some new technology and inventions. He's even invited a young Peter Parker as an up-and-coming science intern. And I just gotta say, the fact that Peter Parker is there is completely unrelated to the fact that Spider-Man is in this rendering. Can we just all agree on that? Okay. Thank you. Unfortunately, all of this new tech draws the type of attention you never want from one of Spider-Man's most formidable villains. So now Peter, uh, I mean Spider- uh, whatever, has to save the day and us, and we get caught up right in the middle of all this action. It's going to be a huge, literally, addition to Hong Kong Disneyland. Yeah, yeah. sounds great. I'm excited fans right here. But, but Scott, let's come back to our original Avengers campus in California Adventure. Yeah. There must be some updates there, Scott. You know there are. Because since we first opened Avengers Campus, people have wondered, hey, what might be behind that <laughs> wall? <laughs> well, soon that question is going to get answered because we're developing a major new attraction where we'll be able to jump between worlds in these stark developed transports and when the need arises, assemble with Earth's mightiest heroes for a multi-world mission with all the twists, turns, and action of a Marvel story. And you know what? I'm excited to tell you all for the first time here today the name of this new attraction. Are you ready to hear the name of this new yeah. Avengers yeah. mission? Alright. It's called Avengers Infinity Defense. Yeah. I like the name. Now, it's going to impact the whole story of the campus, right? Because up to this point, it's been about training to, to be Europe. Yeah, I mean, the campus is still looking to recruit and train the next generation of heroes, but soon it will be time to put that training into action as the campus becomes the launching point for this new Avengers initiative to defend our world and many others. And it's all thanks to this great new Stark developed technology that allows us to travel from world to world. Do you, do you want to see what that looks like? Is it okay? When we arrive at the campus, we're going to find out that some of this portal technology has gone missing. And now King Thanos is using it to wreak havoc across multiple worlds. It's going to be all hands on deck as we assemble the Avengers to take on his army. Now we're going to be able to team up with some of our favorite heroes, both big and, and small, to defend iconic locations such as Asgard, Yeah, and as the threat expands, Wakanda. And we meet, we might even find ourselves in New York City, where we might just come face to face with King Thanos himself. Now, this mission, yeah, we're cheering for King Thanos, okay? All right. <laughs> All right. Now, 
this mission, it's going to put us right in the middle of the action alongside the Avengers. And my favorite part is, you know what, maybe you shouldn't no. give away every twist and turn. Sure. Okay, okay, you're going to have to experience this story for yourself. But the good news is, as Josh said at the beginning, this is all under development right now. And visitors to Avengers Campus starting next year might just see the construction starting on this project. They will see it starting on this project. This attraction is going to be really special. And that's not all that we have to share. You want to tell them? Oh, I'd love to tell them. Can I tell you guys something new? Okay. This is something else. You, D23, you're hearing this first. This is new news. We're adding a fourth attraction to Avengers Campus. So Avengers Campus, it's not just a place to train and deploy heroes. It's also a place where Tony and the Avengers invent, develop, and test the new technologies they need to defend our world. In this new experience, we'll be invited into Stark's workshop to participate in the testing of some dynamic new flight equipment and development. Like and it's called Star Flight Lab. Yeah! It's going to be an incredible experience. It's dynamic, it's fun, and I can say as someone who's been testing it a lot, it's a lot of fun. Um, the, the, uh, you've tried it. Yeah, Star Flight, of course I've tried it. Uh, and it looks, it looks incredibly cool. Oh, it is really cool. I mean, you're going to sit in these two-person pods, your pod's going to deploy to this test station, you're going to get a briefing from a hero, then one of Stark's robots is going to come and grab your pod, hopefully not the one Tony calls dummy, because that yes. one never, never works out really well, uh, grabs you and then flies you around on a flight profile just like your superhero, kind of like Iron Man, actually. It's going to bring a fun new dynamic to the land. You want a pro tip? Can I give them a pro tip, a little insider tip? I'll take it. They'll okay, it's a little D23 insider tip. You're going to want to try this multiple times because you might just get a chance to run different test flights with different heroes. Yeah. I mean, you, you've come over to Imagineering. You've had a chance to test it out. I know you have. So. Yeah, I mean, it's one of my favorite things to do, and I, and I loved it. In fact, it was so fun, so, so fun. But I had to call the boss to come over and try it out, too. Well, there he is. There's the boss. <laughs> Bob, uh, yeah, I remember that. I yeah. remember that. And then Bob called someone else. Uh, he brought someone. He loves 3,000. Uh. Because if you're testing out some Star Tech, it's always best to bring the real Tony Stark along. You're so right. So maybe this seems like a great time to announce that Robert Downey Jr. will be reprising his role wow. as Tony Stark wow. as we bring these new experiences to life at Avengers Campus. Huge news, Scott. Is that huge? It is huge news. I mean, it just shows you the way we're thinking about our Marvel experiences at Avengers Campus with these amazing collaborators. Um, you know, literally between these two attractions, we are doubling the size of the land. <laughs> Yeah. And as you said, construction is starting really, really soon, so we're, we're excited to share more updates in the very near future. Scott, thank you so much. This is going to make a tremendous impact on the, on the land. Oh, no, 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 sorry. Scan to it, Josh. Can't do it. The Fortnite skin was not enough. I am like a Disney adult in a lounge flight store. Gimme! I need more. No, 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 no. Fine. Look, if I can't have an attraction, can I at least have a moment here on stage? Please, poor Vavor. It will give you time to go buy another type in the sweater. Fine, fine. Scott, you better get out of here. No, we still can. Let's go. I don't want, yes. I don't want any part of this. We can do this, Tim. This is what all the searching is. That forever with that sweet, sweet John Stamos backstage. <laughs> Next round. It's time to summon my favorite American Idol. <laughs> Come forth, Abby, and sing. Sing like Lionel Richie's life depends on it. Because it totally does.
which means happily ever after may feel like just a distant dream. It'll have two major new attractions. It'll have dining, shopping, and so much more fiendish fun for you to explore. This is storytelling on a grand scale that only Disney can deliver. So be prepared, you poor, unfortunate souls. It's going to be a fearless new vision for what a Disney experience can be. And you're excited, I can tell. The projects that we announced for Magic Kingdom, they represent the biggest expansion in the park's entire history. And these are already underway. Earth is already starting to move. Add that to everything that we have in store for Animal Kingdom and Hollywood Studios, plus everything that we've just transformed at Epcot. There is just so much happening at Walt Disney World.